All right, so the very last thing we're asking you to do is some voting. And Taylor Lynn is, while Taylor Lynn is getting up here to help lead us in this process, um, I do want to once again thank our videographers um, and our communication team who, who have who have been ensuring that this is disseminated widely and not just to the people in the room. Um, and also our fantastic organizing committee for putting this all together. Just... And our support, especially Taylor Lynn and Largetta Schools and then Strategic Results. And again, this is a, something that we, we want to continue doing. And so at this point, I would like to introduce, I think you've seen them before, both Lakshmi and Ted, and invite, do you guys want to come down for this part? You want to stay? OK. But um, to, to remind you to continue to be in contact with all of us as, in the future. This is not a, a, a one day. and and we're done, um, and that we will be reaching out to you again as we start to assimilate what we've heard and come up with some more concrete thoughts about what might be next steps and what we might do going forward in this trans-agency way um, to be getting your feedback. And so we hope that you'll all be um, accessible for that and be willing to, to re-engage and give us some of that feedback. Can we have some AV support to get this up on the screen? Because it's not going to work if we don't get it on the screen. OK. Oh, they had a different thing they were using. This is mine. Shouldn't matter. It's just not recognizing. Can you log in? Jen, can you acknowledge the note takers? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot the note takers. <laughs> Could our note takers stand up, please, and get a round of applause? So we have several volunteers. Thank you. Oh, Samantha's not, it must have stepped out, but she was fantastic too. So thank you very, very much. All right, so while this is getting set up, we are, what's gonna happen? So take out your computer or your phone, right? The, that's the way people are gonna log in. Um, because we're gonna put up questions and you have one minute to answer and it's gonna be tracking all the answers at, on the screen as you do it. Um, so you can either take a picture you can take a picture of the QR code. If you just open your camera app, it'll open directly to that. Or go to live.voxvote.com and then enter the pin. If you're a Fed and you're here, um, we made the decision at lunch that you're not participating in this. So we want the community's input, not um, our so not funders', not funders input. So um, so thanks. <laughs> that was our executive decision at lunch. So uh, are, are we supposed to get something that says reconnect, waiting for connect yeah. question? Yeah. That's a great okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for new questions.
So this is what it should be showing. There's eight questions. Has anyone been able to get in? So we could do an old-fashioned hand raising. Maybe a reset. Yeah. Reset. Woo! Thank you. Choose one. You you should be able to rank them. Rank. 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 So what, one is the highest or? One is the highest, five is the least. You only have one minute to submit, so you gotta decide fast. <laughs> five is the, or six is the worst. Forty of you did it correctly, so. <laughs> I guess when you press start again on the next one, we'll open it up again. <laughs> so are we got forty or forty users voted? No, it's not live. Yes. Let's try it. This is live. This is live. Yeah, so, so the smaller the number, the higher priority in this case. Yeah. Yes, so the smaller the number, the higher the priority, which does sort of mix you up in your thinking. But so we have sample collection and storage and universal trait phenotype databases are winning at the moment. Has everybody voted? <laughs> We're gonna go on to the next question, so if you haven't pressed it yet, press it. The rest are free text. better as a word cloud.
so you know it's actually also collecting the actual suggestions, and we will be looking at those later. <laughs> but this is supposed to give you sort of an overview of what people are, are putting in most. <laughs> You guys are fast. This is a terrible system. Funding agencies, all across, across the board. Be vast in your thinking. <laughs> Reviewers, diversify. That's good. I see y'all want us to use our convening power. <laughs>
And for the moment, we're asking for opinion, not how, right? <laughs> we'll figure that out later. <laughs> This is the last question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have one minute. <laughs>
All right, so this question number eight was sort of the big money question. So does anybody want to volunteer to share their grand challenge? <laughs> With the group, we could just show everybody all of them, but it would be more fun for you to tell. <laughs> Charles, what'd you write? Understanding how genomes encode diversity. That's a big one. Melissa, is that Melissa? Okay. Understand how genetic networks evolve. Very good. Any more, Grand? Yes. I put two. Th uh, two things, if that counts. You're allowed, right. okay. The, the reference genomes plus the uh, a trait database for life. Trait database for life? Okay. Uh, providing the infrastructure for basically any research group across other institutions to be able to regularly use comparative genomics in their research. I know we got 57 answers. <laughs> I threw some number there at 500. So uh, near perfect genomes and the tools for analysis for the organisms that are already used in research that have been used. Right. The the holy grail of <laughs> just be able to predict. God. Sophia. I want to understand the role of uh, network evolution to phenotypic variation. Anybody else? All right, so obviously I, I think Lakshmi and Ted and all my other colleagues here would agree that certainly those are great uh, aspirational goals for us to try and figure out how we get to, right? Um, so I do so want to thank all of you for spending two days with us thinking about these things, talking about these things. Um, there are two things left that I think we would like to hear from you. Um, one is, this was very useful for us. Was it useful for you? If yes, why? If not, why? We'd like to know. And second, are there things we've missed? Um, so I understand that a lot of people probably want to get out of here and get to flights, and that's fine. But if people have last words they want to say now, that would be great. Or if people want to email us later, that would also be great. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> so, so uh, when, are, when is everything going to be wrapped up between this and the other workshops you've had, and, and is there any more after this? Do you mean ever, or do you mean for strategic planning? For strategic planning 2020. So I think that was it. Eric's point was that everything, presumably all the workshops and everything will be done around about April so that we will have this publication out in round about October. Um, but that being said, that is not the only product from what we've done here. And the organizing committee, which you are part of, so you know this, um, does hope that perhaps papers, publication, white paper might come out of this if anybody's interested in contributing to that. If, the, if you've come up with ideas in your own groups and had your own discussions and are interested in, in contributing something, please do so. Does, that, does anybody else from the organizing committee want to say anything else? Charles or Eleanor or Eric again? Or, go ahead. Um, I did, I really enjoyed the meeting, thank you. And I think at the very least there's been, at least as I've heard it, a lot of confusion as to whether how much comparative genomics was part of the way an NHGRI was thinking about things in the future. So it's much less of a black box now, which is really nice. Thank you. I would, want to say a quick word. I think it's really important. There are many people here together in this room who otherwise would not be together. So I have many opportunities to meet people who otherwise would not meet, and that's great. So thanks for the opportunity.
Yeah, I think that's the biggest reason to have it again. I'd, I'd also just like to add that I think it's really amazing to see the agencies working together, and I think that's been a really positive step, so thanks for organizing and pulling us all together. Yeah, I was going to echo that point and take a minute to, to acknowledge the organizing committee coming across interagency and also the larger group that sort of has been actively working across not just the three agencies that co-funded this, but other um, agencies. And I really do think having that um, sort of dedication by this group of, of people from the agencies has, you know, pays off in things like this. And I think hopefully this is just the start of some of the um, working, there are existing ones, but an example of the type of things that'll come out of that collaboration. because. It isn't, it's not always necessarily part of the day job, but I think it's an important part of what we can do. Oh, and I forgot to add, and I'll, I, um, no, I'm not, I was, well, no, I will say this, that part of the delay also, Eric, why did this happen when it did? I should have thought to say this earlier, is it might have happened earlier if we didn't have two of the three agencies that had a bit of a delay happening earlier in this year at a time when some of the initial planning would have been going forward. Yes, we, we really thank the dedication of our agency partners through thick and thin. <laughs> Um, kind of as Harris said in his opening talk, that I think the, what people are studying in this room mostly is a blind spot to the agencies, so it feels like um, the orphans have been given a little bit more of a voice to be here and provide this type of perspective. All right, with that, thank you all again, and we will be in touch. Safe travels.